Hello and welcome to Thai. I'm Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about what to learn Power Platform or MSBI. Because I have seen most of the people are talking about this why we need to learn the Power Platform or we need to learn MSBI. So we'll talk about this in this video. Stay tuned for that. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So this is Power Platform. So Power Platform is inclusive of Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, and Power Virtual Agent, right? So what are all those things? We'll go one by one. The first thing is Power Apps. We can build enterprise apps at scale to transform business processes and advance digital enablement. So Power Automate creates seamless cross-platform workflows that automate time-consuming tasks eliminate paperwork and drive productivity. Now, Power BI became a data-driven organization by surfacing and sharing actionable insights with easy-to-use dashboard. In the Power Virtual Agent built chatboards that facilitate seamless engagement at customer and employee touch points and capture valuable data to drive continuous improvement. So as if you are already using the Power BI, you might have heard that Power Automate, we can integrate in Power BI as a separate visuals inside the Power BI itself, right? So Power Automate is also going to come in future as well. So in terms of all these four things, we call it as a Power Platform. So now, what is MSBI? MSBI is inclusive of three things. One is SQL Server Integration Service, SQL Server Analysis Service, and SQL Server Reporting Service. These are the main three things which is covers in business intelligence. That is we call MSPI. So let's go into a little more detail about it, what it actually and how it actually works. So these are the data sources. For an example, I have taken here, Excel is there, Access is there, Exchange is there, SharePoint is there, SQL Server, Facebook, Teradata, IBM, MySQL, Oracle, Salesforce, whatnot, any other things as well. These are the things which is uh, we call as a data source for now. And then this stage comes of SSIS first, SQL Server Integration Services. There what we do is we collect all the data sources information and then we start to staging it. So it's a process of staging and then we do it ETL. ETL is nothing but extract, transform and load. So we extract the information from data sources and then we transform to our desired format with our, because most of data sources, it is not in a structured format, right? It may be an unstructured format. So we need to transform the data in a structured way, and then we need to load it into our data warehouse. So validate, clean, transform, aggregate, and then load into our data warehouse. So data warehouse is something like you can store any of the information in it. So it covers almost all the areas of an organization, for an example. Okay, so from that, we need to split the data warehouse to data mart. For example, data warehouse is includes of all the function areas of a company like finance, production, administration, maintenance, everything will include here, HR and payroll. So in order to separate those things, we'll create data mart over there. That what we'll do is we will create separate data mart for HR, we will create separate data mart for finance, we will create separate data mart for maintenance. Like this. After that, so these are the parts covers for the SSIS. After the next part comes to SSAS, which from there we will create a semantic layer, we call it as. So either we can take the data from data mart to in a cube or in a tabular format. And then from there we can visualize the data into our SSRS report. And recently it is updated in Power BI as a Power BI presented report as well. So it also comes over here. Now you might have wonder what's going to between these two, right? So let's first understand this picture. So this is the magic quadrant chart for the Gartner of February 2020 version. So here, as you can see in the business intelligence platform, Microsoft is the leader here. Right. Okay. Now going to the next slide. Now you might wonder, now what? Right. So according to Gartner, Microsoft is the leader of BI. 
they have mentioned Microsoft, right? Not Power BI. Because so far what we know, business intelligence is Microsoft Power BI, right? Power business intelligence. But actually it's not like that. Here in the garden, it refers to Microsoft, right? It means we need to learn all the Power Platform family, that is Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, and Power Virtual Agent. Inclusive of all these things, they got as a Microsoft in the Gartner overview. That's one thing. So Power Apps Visual, we can integrate in Power BI, it's already there. And Power Automate is also coming soon, so we need to learn all these three here. So Power Virtual Agent is going to help in our website and all. So it's not included here, but it is good to learn the Power Visual Agent as well. So the bonus thing is we need to learn the page unit report as well because SSRS in MSBI and in Power Platform it is Power BI page unit report. So now what about the job? That's the main concern for everybody because everybody is working, so everybody is finding the job. So with that they need to fit on the data analytics field or they need to learn the MSBI. So that's the confusion here, right? So when it's come to learning a job, our platform knowledge alone is not enough because I have seen many of the companies that nobody is asking only to Power BI specific or Power Platform, something like that. They are, the job description is self described that they need to have knowledge of MSBI. So you need to have the knowledge of MSBI as well, not in depth, at least you must be aware of it, how and what it actually works. So what's the conclusion? If you're a Power Platform person, then learn MSBI, mainly learn SQL Server, SSIS, and SSAS. But SSRS and Pageant Report, no, most of the companies are not using it for now, but in future it may require. But as of now, if you're going to land in a job, it is good to learn SQL, SSIS, and SSAS. And if you're an MSBI person already, that's enough to get a job because there's a great area where most of the companies are seeking the people from MSBI knowledge. But still, learning Power Platform is an added advantage for you guys. So this is my point of view that you need to learn the MSBA as well, Power Platform as well, in order to get a good job in the current market. So feel free to post your comment section in the comment section below. I will happy to get your feedback on these two videos which I posted day before yesterday and today. So thanks for watching. If you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. If you're not yet a member of our channel, just hit the join button to know in detail about it. Share it with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.